I just got another video I want to react to with a really uh, interesting title. This is for the Liberals, Justin Trudeau is the best. So let's see what he has to say and then we'll react to it after. Justin Trudeau might actually be the best option for the Liberals heading into the next election. Hi, I'm Brian Lovely, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. It may not seem like it right now when you look at the polling. Justin Trudeau and his Liberals are what, 18 to 21 points behind the uh, poly of Conservatives, depending on which poll you look at. We've had three out this week. Abacus, the Angus Reid Institute, and Ipsos, all saying the Conservatives are at 42%, and the Liberals, they're anywhere between, oh, 21 and 24 percent this is some of the lowest polling they've had outside of their disastrous 2011 campaign in recent memory these are horrible stats and yet trudeau is sticking around he was on cbc earlier this week and he absolutely dismissed the polls he he tried to undermine the entire polling industry with some of his comments and said canadians aren't at a decision point yet that's true we are ways away from an election. In my three rules in politics, because well, of him. voters are fickle, polls can change, campaigns matter. So all of this could look very different by the time we go to the polls if we last until October 2025. But why isn't Trudeau leaving? Why isn't he saying, you know what? Somebody else should take over the helm. Somebody else should lead the party into the next election. Maybe it's because he looked around the room and said, this isn't a great prop of candidates. Mark Carney, he's the guy that everyone's pointing to, the former Bank of Canada governor, former Bank of Great Canada, option. England governor, former Goldman Sachs banker. I mean, he's a dream for the Conservatives to run against, but he keeps being put forward as someone that will save the Liberal Party. And yet, check out this post that Carney voluntarily put on X, formerly Twitter. He's in an Oilers jersey. Yeah, okay, great. He's originally from Edmonton. He's supporting his hometown team holding a can of beer that doesn't look like it's opened and looking like he's never seen a can of beer before. I showed it to one long-time political who laughed and said, Bordeaux before Bud. That seems to be Carney's view. This is a guy who can't speak to regular people. I say that as someone that's covered him. He has difficulty doing that. Then there's Trisha Freeland. She talks to everyday Canadians like they're morons, like they're I'm in kindergarten sitting cross-legged on the carpet. And she wants to be leader. That is not something that's going to sit well with the public. You've got Francois Philippe Champagne, who I think could do a decent job. Uh, uh, Dominic LeBlanc, who should never be underestimated. Melanie Jolie, Anita Anand. All these names are being floated out there, but none they're, of them are going to take over from. They're not good enough Peter either. Polyev and the Conservatives being so far out in front, they're not going to be able to turn things around. Which leads to the question: Why would Justin Trudeau leave? He may actually be their best campaigner. He may be their best shot for the next election, even if that election leads to certain defeat. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share your thoughts on social media. Share this video on social media. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, that's really interesting, right? Like, the last thing you talked about there is, you know, like, is Trudeau the best option? Is there another person who could, you know, come in and be in charge of the Liberal Party and then take votes from Pierre Polyev? And to be fair to Brian Lilly, he might be right on that. Like, there might not be anyone else. Jolie and Anand and all the other ones that they they mentioned, Mark Carney, I mean, no one likes them. Christian Freeland? LeBlanc? Like, no one likes these people. I mean, it's just... <laughs> like, Canadians have made it very clear that they are not only done with the Liberal Party for the next election, but done with them for at least a little while. They've really, like, they've kind of pissed all over their supporters so much to the point where, you know, I think they, what, what, were they, what was their highest polling, like, when they were more popular? Probably around what Pierre Polyev is right now, and half of them have left. That's not to, you know, maybe you can also make the argument that Pierre Polyev might be a politician who can overperform in the polls. I'm not sure about that, but let's be honest, it's, it's looking right now like Pierre Polyev is going to not only win a majority, but push Trudeau back and the Liberals back all the way to fourth place. It's going to be kind of embarrassing, but I can't wait to see it. I'm sure most of you can't either. Um, now, in terms of you know, Mark Carney, I know a lot of Liberals are pushing for him. Bank of Canada, and he worked for Goldman Sachs. That's all you need to know. He is not a man of the people. He does not work for the people and is out of touch pandering with his stupid Oilers jersey. And he's holding a, a can of Bud Light. And it's like, 
or maybe it was just regular Budweiser, whatever it was, but he, he looked like he didn't even know how to hold a can. I mean, he, he, he's, he's very out of touch and their pandering doesn't work. We understand that people like that, like Mark Carney, who work for Goldman, Goldman Sachs and the Bank of Canada are elitists and probably globalists too. And let's be honest, whoever does take over that liberal party, they're going to be just a mirror of Justin Trudeau. It's not like someone's going to come in and reform the party. No, they've been infiltrated by globalists and elitists, and it's been admitted on camera. Just in case any of you think I'm a conspiracy theorist, it's been admitted on camera. So <laughs> is Trudeau the best option for the liberals, guys? Maybe he is. Maybe he really is the best option because even though he is such a piece of shit, his cabinet is also filled with other even bigger pieces of shit, or at least more unpopular pieces of shit. Well, I guess you're going down in the polls, and it doesn't matter. I mean, a hundred of those MPs are going to lose their job in about a year or so anyway. Uh, and just before I let you go, guys, I just wanted to also let you know that there is a huge by-election coming up on Monday. Uh, I believe that is... The 24th, yeah, so April 24th, the St. Paul's region, region in Toronto is up for a by-election. If you really want change, you can vote conservative in that election if you live in that area. If Justin Trudeau's liberals lose that riding, they might panic and then something might happen, Trudeau might resign. I, I'm not convinced of that. But if you lose a stronghold and you're already down by 20 points and the opposition is about to get over 200 seats, I mean, you're completely screwed. So if you live in that area and you want to see change, vote conservative. Also, please don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. It really, really helps my channel grow. Uh, please also leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I really enjoy the uh, channel engagement as well. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later and I hope you have a great day.